Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hi, Brian, Jorge, Edwin, Denise, Mayra, Anna. Hi. Hi. Why do you sound so sad? You sound very sad. Hi. 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 <laughs> what happened? Very happy. I, I think I chose the, the wrong shirt. Se, 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 se combina con el, con el, el background. Not good, not good. <laughs> it's bad. People, how are you? Welcome to today's session. Today's our, our last session. Thank you guys for joining. How is everything? ¿Cómo está todo? Good, bad. More or less. Fine. Fine. Very happy. Oh. Very happy, this Very happy. Okay. okay. I don't know happy. why. I don't know. That is good. That is good, Mayra. You're happy. That's good. That's fantastic. Yes, I'm glad to hear that you're happy. What about the rest? Hannah, Anna, how are you today? Good night. Good. Oh. <laughs> what? My teacher. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Look at her real. Take it easy, take it easy. Mire que elegí mal la camisa porque se, se combina con, con, el, con el background. Y ni es verde, es como celeste, algo así. <laughs> oh, a ver, vamos a eso. It's, it's bad. I made a wrong decision with this shirt. No es verde, verde es como celeste. But it's, I don't know why, but it matches with the with the background. It's it's not good. All right. I'm good to see you, Jorge, Brian, Edwin, Denise, Christian, Ed, uh, Andy. People, what's up? How are you? Very tired, teacher. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. It's Wednesday. We are getting tired already. Yes, I know. I understand. And, uh, you know, the Christmas uh, the Christmas season is getting closer and closer. So we're getting psychologically ready for, for the Christmas season, the New Year season. Man, almost. <laughs> yes. yes, it's true. <laughs> You know, uh, the best to, uh, season of the year. Exactly, the best season of the year. Yes, and in my case, I do not work in December. Todo el mes trabajo, mire. Yes, good for me. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. I know, right? I know. Yeah, I don't work. I don't work in December. It's it's good for me. Yes. No, I was I was telling you that uh, I have never decorated my my house. But this year, I plan to decorate my house with the Christmas, you know, with the Christmas lights, the tree and everything. That's my plan for this year. Yes. I hope to, 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 to do it. Welcome, everyone. This is the, the first time you are early. Wow. The first time. Marvin, welcome. Sandra, Jancy, thank you, guys. Raquel. Good to have you again, people. Thank you very much for joining. Well, I told you yesterday that today we have the survey. I do not know what time because they haven't told me. If they don't let me know, well, let me see. Well, they haven't they haven't told me yet. If they don't let me know what time it is, what time I have to do the survey, we're gonna start at 8:30. 8:30. Because uh, they usually tell me through WhatsApp what time I have to start. They haven't told me anything yet. They might do it in a couple of minutes. If they don't do it, we're going to start at 8.30. All right? Yes. Very Copy, good. Copy, teacher. Ismael, wow. Tiempo sin verlo, miren. It's been a while. Tiempo sin verlo, sin verlo. Sin verlo. De que está aquí, sí, pero no lo hemos visto. 
Ese último día se deja ver, mire. Ya se vuelve a It's an, it's a new classmate. <laughs> it's a new classmate. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm great. So was funny. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining. Oh. Today is our last session. This is session number 20. You already know that. And uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that you are very happy. Yay. No? <laughs> I'm happy, teacher. <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. I'm kind of relieved too, you know, because uh, it's it's difficult to, to be working at night. Yes, it's it's funny, it's good, but it's difficult, you know, because I get tired, I get uh, sleepy. Yesterday I was feeling kind of bad, you know. I don't know why I had this this pain uh, on on my left side. I still have it, but not that hard. No es como ayer, está tan intenso, but it's okay. Let me take attendance, people, to start. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you. Andy Ernesto Martinez. Hello, teacher. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Brian David Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Carlos Alberto Orrego. No, he's not here yet. Carlos Elias Rimas. No. Christian Alexander. Thank you, Christian. Present. Elisa Alejandra Zuniga. Diana Yamilel Maravilla. ¿Me escuchan? Hello. Yes, teacher. I, I can hear you, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Wait, yes. This person. Somebody's. Oh, yes. <clears throat> let me give me a second. I'm, I'm uh, Paola is telling me that her car is not working and she won't be able to, to get online today. Sí, vamos a ver. I was with Diana, right? Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Marvin Josué Cortez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present, teacher. Yes, Paola won't be joining today's session due to car problems. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you, Sandra Yves Mendoza. Here, teacher. Thank you, Sara Rachel Salazar. Present, teacher. Veronica Lizeth Portillo. Thank you, Sara. I'm present. 
in the last one, Jansi Andrea Solorzano. Present. Thank you, thank you everyone. Let's begin. Well, as you know, the last day, in the last day or in the last session, we, we have review of the unit. So today we're gonna be reviewing unit number four, specifically the grammar topics from unit number four. But I gotta tell you this first. Remember, today is the last day to complete the activities on the platform. If you haven't finished yet, please do so later or right after class. Go straight to the platform and work on the activities. Okay, because today I am going to update the, the information from there. I updated the third the third week information. I'm just missing this week's information. So guys, please work on the platform. This is for the ones that have not worked on the platform yet. I mean, unit number four or session number four. And also remember that you have to do the final exam. Yes. So work on the activities today on the platform today or tomorrow, but I think it's, it's better or uh, highly recommendable to do that today. All right, today, excuse me. Let me start. We're gonna go right here and uh, wait, hold on, not there. I'm gonna show you that. Do you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes? All yeah, right, well, yeah. people, welcome to the last session. This is day number 20 or class number 20, Wednesday, September 6th, uh, 2023, and review of unit four and practice, All right? That's uh what we will be doing today. Yes, let me see. Okay, now let's go to the book. People, if you're not if you're not on the book yet, go to page number 47 and 27. Page number 47. Page number 47. The information is right there. Are you there? Are you with me? I got it, teacher. Okay, yes. Wait. Give me a second right now. Let's let's begin, people. Excellent. Read the following article about policy and procedure and write policy and procedure in the blanks. Which blanks? Oh, okay. There are down there from one to five. I had not seen that part. Okay, let me read this to you, people. If you have questions about the vocabulary or any expression that you do not understand, let me know right after I finish reading. What is a policy? A policy is a predetermined, predetermined course of action, which is established to provide a guide toward accepted, uh, accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision or their day-to-day their -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is accomplished uh, by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountain ranges, and other major features are easily identified. There you go. Uh, do you have any questions about the vocabulary?
Now? I have a question. The word, what is the boundaries? Which one? Boundaries. Ba boundaries. Mm -hmm. Does anyone know what that is, people? National national boundaries. Alguien sabe qué significa eso? No. It has it has different definitions. Let me tell you. It can be limit. It can limit, 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 a limit, right? Frontera, uh, barrera, barrera, frontera o límite. National uh, national boundary, una, una barrera nacional o, o de jurisdicción, algo así. ¿Cómo es la palabra? Jurisdiction. I cannot say the word in Spanish. <laughs> Jurisdiction. Es límite, frontera o una, una barrera. Yes. What else? ¿Qué más? No. Teacher, what is boundaries? Oh, yes, that's what Anna was asking me. It has different definitions. Border, border is frontera. Border, frontera. Limit, limite. And barrier, barrera. Frontera, barrera, or limite. That's boundaries. Okay, thanks, teacher. All right. What is attempt? Do you know what attempt is? Vamos a colocar aquí boundaries. Ya repasamos. You know what attempt is? ¿Saben qué significa attempt? Oh, people, ask me, ask me. Attempt is the same, the same as saying try. Or it is a synonym of the verb try, intentar, try. That's what it is. Now, what is overcome? Overcome. Sobre. Sorry? Sobre. Sobre. I don't know, teacher, sorry. <laughs> kind of, kind of, kind of. You're, you're getting close to, this, to, the, to the definition. You're getting close, you're getting close. Overcome? I I think that encima or sobre. Something like that. Some, sobrellevar. Sobrellevar. Derrotar. Uh, let me show you. <laughs> let me show you. I'm going to show you boundaries. I'm going to show you uh, this one, attempt. And I'm going to show you. Look, let me show you with uh, attempt. It's a regular verb. Look. That's a tent. The same, the same as, as the verb try. Verbo intentar, try. The same thing. Uh, boundaries. Boundaries, I was telling you that it means limit, barrier. Uh, well, look. There you go. It's a limit of land. There's a limit of tierra. Or the propiedad, un limite. Talking, talking about land or properties. Yes. And uh, what was the other one? Overcome, right? Overcome, sobrellevar, superar, vencer, derrotar, acá está. Defeat and vanquish, superar, vencer, what else? Vencido, vencer, ganar, abrumar. Yes, it has several definitions. Sobrellevar is the best one. Like when you when you uh solve or when you yes, when you solve a problem, that's what it is. That's what it is. All right. So here we are. We're back. We're back in the book. Now I'm going to read again. They haven't told me what time I have to do the survey. 
I'm going to read again. This time I'm going to do it slowly for you guys to listen. And uh, then I, I will ask some people to read or to participate with the reading. A policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide to work accept, accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct or direct link between, or, between an organization's vision and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountain ranges, and other major features, features are easily identified. There you go. Now, I need people to read. Volunteers. Guys, who's the first one? Guys, hello. I need a volunteer. Yes. What is a policy? Thank you. A policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide, a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an, an organization vision in the day to day operation policy identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limit and choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their, their decision making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policy as a globe where national boundaries, ocean, mountains, range, and other major features are easily identified. Identified, identified. All right, mountain ranges, mountain ranges. Okay, thank you for reading, Sandra. No. Sandra, choose, choose another person. Go, you have the power in your hands. Choose uh, another person. Let me see, Mayra. <laughs> wow. Okay, Mayra, you're up. Yeah, I feel that. Okay, thank you, Sandra. <laughs> you're welcome. What is that promise? <laughs> You can do it. What is a policy? <laughs> a policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a good toward a set business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct, direct link between an organization, vision, and the day to day operation. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy, strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they, they arise. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and choice of alternatives that can be used to guide the, the decision making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a globe, globe where national boundaries, ocean, mountains, range, and other 
major features are easily identified. Okay, are easily identified. All right, identified, mm -hmm. are then are then identified. Mountain ranges, mountain ranges. Mountain ranges. Mountain, 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 mountain ranges. Mountain, mountain ranges. Ranges, ranges. Mountain ranges. All right. Very good. Thank you for uh, reading, Maida. We're going to continue with one more participant. You can choose that person, Maya. Okay, teacher. Let me see. I choose. Mm -mm. Choose anyone. Okay. Uh, Except Carlos. Carlos. No. Okay, Andy. All right. And I choose Andy. Okay, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. And read the, what is the policy, teacher? Exactly, thank you. Okay, and a policy is predetermined course of action, which is estab established to provide a guide toward a set business strate strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link be between an organization vision and their day-to-day -day operation policies in def in, in identify the key activities and provide a general strategy strat strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is accomplished accomplished by providing the the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives than that can be used to guide to to guide guide and their guide their yeah. decision making process as they add them or uh, add them to overcome problems i like the thing of policy as global where national boundaries ocean mountain ranges and other ma ma major features are easily identified all right, all right. Andy, thank you for your participation. Thank you, Maida and Sandra, for reading as well. Yes. And, uh, well, that's a policy, right? Remember, the policies are basically, basically rules that every company has established, okay? Things that we have to follow, right? Now, what is a procedure? We have a second paragraph about procedure and we're gonna read the definition of procedure. What is a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. A well-written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. The good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from, from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the three details, uh, sorry, details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? I might have some, some. Uh... Yeah, teacher, uh, what is the meaning of well and writing? Well written. This is a, a well written procedure, un proceso bien escrito. Well written, bien escrito. Well, 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 Yes, bien escrito, así es, bien escrito. well, written. Yes, we have, we have a couple of, of words. well, 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 organized, well, 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 well said, well, well written, 
Yes. Es como decir, bien organizado, bien dicho, y en este caso, en este caso bien escrito. Yes. Así literal. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, more questions? Let me see. Um, um... Teacher, what it mean? Highlighted. I highlighted. Know. Highlight is the verb. Yeah, highlighted is the past form. How can I say this in Spanish, man? I don't remember what the word. Highlight. Highlight. Como, uh, uh, darle importancia. I can't remember the word in Spanish, people, to be honest. But it's like Resaltar. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the word. Thank you. Thank you. Resaltar. In este caso, resaltado. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Veronica. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Porque ese es el marcador, ¿verdad? En inglés. Exactly. Ese, ese, sí. Esto, ese ah, es highlighter. Es highlighter <laughs> es marcador. Highlight es resaltar. O marcar lo más, lo más importante. Yes. Highlighter. Aquí es un verbo. Bueno, aquí es un adjetivo. Yes. More questions? Highlighter. Highlighter. Yes. Resaltado, resaltar, resaltado en este caso. En el de la película. No, sí. What are you talking about? ¿De qué habla? It's a movie or it's a series. It's a series, highlighter. Así era. Yeah. Yeah. era highlighter. El inmortal. Exactly. Yes. yes. <laughs> Sí, lo veía, me acuerdo que cuando estaba pequeño lo veía. Yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, it's, ese es clásico. De... Wow, que está. Hablamos de hace, hace 25 años por ahí, quizás, ¿verdad? More. 20 años, maybe. 25. Wow, qué viejitos estamos. <laughs> teacher, what it, what it mean wandering? Boundaries. Wandering, wandering. Oh. Wandering, wandering off. Andar yeah, a la wandering. deriva. Andar a la deriva. Oh. Es, ese wandering es caminar. Pero caminar como andar dando vueltas en el mismo lugar. Se puede usar ese wandering como cuando va un, a turistear, a caminar hacia a un lugar mismo. O wandering off, en este caso, es andar a la deriva, andar perdido, dando vueltas en un lugar. Caminar ¿Cuándo? solo por caminar. Exactly, yes. Sin ningún sentido. Exactly. Lost. Lost. What else? More, more, more questions? No question, no? Okay, now, let me choose some people to read. Let me choose some men. Edwin, hi. Hi, teacher. After Edwin, we're gonna go with Marvin. And, uh, well, I'm gonna choose... Uh, and me, teacher. Mark. Okay, and Brian is here too. Okay, Edwin, go ahead. Thank you, Edwin. Okay. Uh, where is the where is a produce procedure? Uh, Proce procedure. 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 Yes. Where is a procedure? Uh, the ultimate goal of every pro procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to co to carry out. Or implement a policy. A policy. Uh, a well grading and uh, produce will also help eliminate common me misunderstandings. Misunderstandings. Misunderstandings uh, by identifying job responsibility and 
Establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees uh, from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the drive details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off. An acceptable path identified by the company's management team. Thank you, Edwin. Excellent, excellent. You did it very well. Marvin, are you ready? Okay. Uh, Thank you, Marvin. What is a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. A well writing procedure We also help eliminate common misunderstandings by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance in prevent organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of procedure as a roadmap where the drip details are highlighted in the order to prevent a person from getting loose or wandering of an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for uh, reading, Marvin. Let's go with Brian. Brian wants to try too. Yes. Yeah, Brian? teacher. Go, go. Um, okay. Uh, what is the procedure? The hmm. ultimate goal of every procedure is if is to pro provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. A well writing procedure procedure will also help eliminate common uh, misunderstanding by identifying uh, job job responsibilities responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees good good procedure, procedure good good procedure good procedures uh, actually permit managers to control events in the advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistake mistakes you can think of a procedure or a, a road roadmap where the where the trip de details are highlighted, highlighted in order in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. All right, excellent, Brian. Thank you for reading. Uh, I will read. Written, written, a well written, 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 written. Yes, written, written. All right. Okay. Yes. Thank you for participating right there with the activity. Thank you, Marvin, and thank you, Edwin, for also reading. Now, guys, let's get the link ready. We're going to start with the survey right now. Let me just get the link to share it with you as well. Let me find it real quick. Where is it? It is right here. Okay, I'm going to share the link through the WhatsApp, no, over here, through the Zoom chat, or you can go directly to, to the WhatsApp group or to your WhatsApp messages. You're gonna find the information right there. Uh, open the link or go to the, the website and just wait. Y esperen ahí, no se vayan a, a, a adelantar, por favor, espérenme ahí. Abramos el link rápidamente. 
todos y me confirman, por favor, cuando lo abramos. Thank you. Vamos a iniciar con la encuesta en este momento. It's, oh, ya son las 8.42. People, let me know, let me know, avísenme, por favor. I'm ready. Ready, ready, all right. I'm ready. Ready, I'm ready. Ready. ready, ready, all right. Very good. Let me share. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Here. Acá está. Observen. Aquí tenemos que estar todos en esta parte. Acá tenemos que estar todos en esta parte. Yes. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Gracias. Vamos a iniciar, iremos paso a paso, ok. Uno por uno, no nos adelantemos. Sé que las son fáciles de hacer, pero para ir en orden y que todos vayamos en misma sintonía, vamos paso a paso. Iniciamos con la primera. Dice, ingrese el número completo de la web de inicio con guiones y plecas que ha sido previsto por, por, la, por el proveedor. Puede copiarlo y pegarlo. Ese está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Déjenme un segundo acá. Voy a ir a traerlo acá para copiarlo en, en, el, en el documento. Perdón, en la, en el, aquí en el chat de Zoom. Acá se lo ha compartido a todos. Si lo que me, me lo comienza a meter, espérame. Falta la A. Perdón, no es ese, permítanme. Lleva una A al principio. Sería ese que está ahí, que le reenvié. ¿Lo pueden ver? También está en su, en su, en su WhatsApp, en su mensaje que le enviaron. Puede copiarlo y pegarlo desde ahí. Lo vamos a colocar, lo vamos a colocar en el espacio. Acá lo puedo colocar, miren, ahí está. AC29750005-2020. O puede escribirlo de aquí justamente. Let me know when you are ready. Ready. Ok, muy bien. Ready. Thank you. Listo, listo. Perfecto, people. Excelente. Fantástico. Ok. Estamos todos listos, ¿verdad? Todos, todos, todos. Que no los escucho. Yes. Are you sleeping? Yes, teacher. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Ready. Excelente. Yes, teacher, I'm sleeping. <ríe> el sueño dice, mira. No, no, no. It is not time yet. Take it easy, take it easy. Relájese. Ok, seguimos con la parte 2. Dice el nombre completo. Colocamos el nombre completo. Todos col colocamos acá. Nombre completo. Por lo que he inventado acá. Francisco. Le... Leandro, Juárez, Rojo. Full name, ok, full name. Nombre completo, nombre completo en la parte 2. Con el ítem 2. ¿Te avisan? I'm ready. Excellent. You are a machine. <laughs> ready, teacher. Gracias, gracias, Ready. gracias. Listos, listos. Muy bien, muy bien. All right. Denise, Cristian, ¿todo bien? Diana, we're good? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. What about Denise? No la escucho. Sara, ¿todo bien? Yes, we're good. Yes, yes. George, we're good. Ok, creo que estamos bien. Entonces, seguimos con la parte 3. Colocamos el correo. Colocamos acá nuestro correo. Ready. Hey, Grisi, hey, Grisi. <ríe> Don. Ok, listo, listo, ok. Esperemos, esperemos entonces. No se me adelanten. 
Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you, Christian. Muy bien, muy bien. ¿Por, por cuál paso es que íbamos? Perdón, por el 2 o el 3. Pardon, perdón. ¿Por cuál paso vamos? ¿El 2 o el 3? Vamos por el 3. Correo electrónico. Eh, en mi caso, ¿con el correo que me inscribieron o mi personal? No, no, con el, con el que escribió, que se inscribió, sí. Ok. <coughs> Ready? Yes. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Thank you. Luego dice el ítem número 4, número celular. Colocamos nuestro número de teléfono acá. Sería el que le hemos otorgado al equipo operativo. Ese mismo. Porque hay dos, a veces hay dos o tres que tenemos. Entonces, Teacher, el teléfono que yo... Eh, mandé a inglés corporativo ya no está en uso no hay problema si... entonces coloque sí. el, el, el nuevo entonces el que tiene el, el nuevo, nuevo. Okay. Sí. Bueno, un segundo sorry I was getting some allergies Are we done with part number four? Yes, teacher. Yes, sure. yes, ok, muy bien, muy bien. Seguimos con la parte cinco, dice, ahí está fácil, colocamos nuestro, nuestro género, es el género masculino, está fácil, solo le damos clic y elegimos. Yes. Muy bien, muy bien. Ahora, en la parte 6 ya es un poco más diferente porque nos aparece una flechita así. Acá es una flecha, le damos ahí clic a esa flecha. Bueno, dice departamento de residencia. Y buscamos nuestro departamento. En mi caso, yo vivo en Usulután, elijo Usulután. Si usted vive en Morazán, coloque Morazán, en la Unión, Caña, Cabañas, Santa Ana, etc. ¿Ok? Elegimos en la... Le damos clic a la flechita y nos aparecerán los departamentos y elegimos dónde recibimos. ¿Listo? Yes. Ok, thank you. La unión, sí. Yes. Ok, muy bien. ¿Alguien falta? No, teacher. No, teacher. Creemos que no, creemos que no. Muy bien. Perfecto. Continuamos con la Pero parte 7. Ismael, dígame. No, teacher, no, no me haga acá. Ah, all right. Thank you. Ok, continuamos con la parte 7. Ah. Municipio de residencia. Colocamos acá el municipio. En mi caso, yo vivo, aquí se llama Santa María. Entonces, coloco aquí Santa María. Oeste, Nejapa. Ok, <ríe> no sé si sería así, mira. colócalo como, como, está, como era antes, o este Nejapa, no. Bueno, no sé. Eso está escrito ya. <ríe> ah, todo, sí, sí, sí. Todo diferente, no sabemos ahí. ¿Estamos listos con la parte 7? Yes, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Número 8, dice, empresa donde trabaja. En esta parte no colocaremos literalmente el nombre de la empresa, sino su razón social o cómo está inscrito en nuestra la hacienda. Quien no sepa cuál es su, su razón social me avisa para decirle cuál es. Yo no sé. Espérame, okay, con... ok, vamos a iniciar con Sara, luego Marvin. Vamos a ver, acá les diré, espérame que cargue, no carga acá. Para... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Espérame que sí. Acá está. Ok, para Marvin sería... 
Espérame, Marvin. Marvin dice, grupo eje, coma, S, A, S, B. Ese eje va con doble J. Pero eh, usted dijo que no era el nombre, sino que era, que era otra cosa, como el, el tipo de empresa. Entonces, coloco grupo eje. Aquí se lo colocan en el SAT, miren. Gracias. Sería? Licores. Sorbete, Ahora vamos no. con, con Sara. Sara, su... Sorbete. El suyo ah, es... es... Ah, fight. Eso está bueno. Sara. Aquí se lo voy a reenviar. Ese es... R y M. S A S B. ¿Alguien más le falta? La teacher. No. Mi teacher. Ok, Verónica, Verónica, en un segundo entonces, vamos a ver, Verónica, ese es, dice ahí, confetti, s a d c b lo voy a compartir acá en el chat, Zoom también. Es el mismo Sorry. Es el mismo nombre de la empresa también, ok, gracias. Ok, ok. Y a, veces, a veces cambia el nombre, por eso les decía que no es, a veces no, no es diferente, no es, no es lo mismo, perdón. ¿Alguien más? I'm finished, teacher. Estamos en la parte 8, nombre de la empresa. ¿Alguien más le falta esa parte? Que a veces es lo mismo. Ok, Carlos Elías se dice que le falta. Vamos a ver, Carlos. En ese caso, con Carlos es... Carlos Project de, Project de Salvador, dice SASB. Aquí se los comparto, Carlos, espérenme. Ah, no escuchamos, Carlos, no escuchamos, no se escucha. No se escucha. Ahí se lo compartimos. ¿Alguien más que le falte? ¿Alguien más, alguien más que le falte? ¿Alguien más? Hello, hello. No, teacher. No, teacher. Thank you. Ok, muy bien. Estamos con fuego. We are on fire. Ok, yeah. regresemos entonces a la encuesta. Vamos a regresar a la encuesta. Estamos en la parte 9. Dice nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Le damos clic a la flecha que está, está ahí en una parte. Mira, acá está la flechita. Le damos clic ahí. Y nos aparecen varias compañías o empresas. Vamos a buscar el que diga Regal International. Regal International SADCB. Bueno, aquí está. Me dice inglés corporativo, perdón. Inglés corporativo Regal International SADCB. Le damos clic a ese. Lo buscamos. Búsquenlo ahí. Aparecen varias compañías o empresas. Le damos clic a donde dice inglés corporativo. Regal International SASB. ¿Le encontramos todos? Yes, teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. 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 We got it. Muy bien, muy bien. Ahora, espérame, quiero buscar el, el, el grupo en el, en, en el nombre de la... Vamos a buscar, dame un segundo. Ok, vamos con la parte número 10, dice nombre del curso, colocamos ahí inglés, principiante, dice aquí, módulo 5, inglés, principiante, módulo 5, el número, estamos en el punto 10, o en el ítem 10, nombre del curso, inglés, principiante, módulo 5, justo como le, lo he colocado acá. Ok, 
Ahora avanzamos con el ítem número 11 sí, y dice, sí. valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso. Pero, perdón, perdón. ¿Estamos listos con la parte 10? ¿Todos? ¿Hicimos la parte 10? Sí, sí. teacher. Entonces, avancemos con la parte número 11, o el ítem 11, valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso. Tenemos acá, ¿cómo considera el tiempo, emplea, el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? ¿Insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno o excelente? Le damos clic a uno de ellos, ¿ok? Ahí es personal, la opinión personal, cualquiera pueden elegir, sin ningún problema. Leen el siguiente y hacen lo mismo. Cualquiera pueden hacerlo. El siguiente dice, ¿qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? Igual, elijan el que ustedes gusten, el que ustedes opinen así como... Y el último dice, ¿qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? En el curso? Ok. All right. Are we ready? ¿Estamos listos con esa parte? Yes, teacher, we're ready. Ok, teacher, dice acá, dice acá. I'm ready. Vamos con la parte 1. Diana, dígame. Perdón, este, en el número 10 iba a Proyecto El Salvador. ¿Número 10? Sí. No, número 10, inglés principiante, módulo 5. Así pondrá el nombre del curso. Inglés principiante, mm. módulo 5. Aquí está, mire, ¿puede verlo? Ah, ok. Y arriba de eso va... Ahí sería inglés corporativo. corporativo. Inglés corporativo, Regal International, SASB. Ah, ok. Ok, teacher, thank you. Muy bien, muy bien. Esperemos a Diana que corrija para seguir. Diana, me avisa, Diana, me avisa, me avisa. Permítanme, me dicho que así me cuesta un poquito. Me dijo inglés. Inglés corporativo, perdón. Inglés no, en la... El nombre. Inglés principiante, inglés principiante módulo 5. Ok. No importa que vaya en minúscula, o tiene que ser todo en mayúscula. Está bien, minúscula, no tengo que no, no, no. Me avisa, me avisa, me avisa, estamos esperando. Vaya, dicho, está bien, ok. Ok, muy bien. Continuemos. Parte número 12. Dice, ¿en qué fecha inició el curso? Le damos clic. Ups, sorry. Le damos clic ahí, aparece un calendario pequeñito en una parte de ahí. Le damos clic a ese, a ese calendario. Y buscamos, vamos a agosto. Perdón, la fecha me ha olvidado. Se me ha olvidado la fecha. Wow, wow, wow. 9 de agosto. Ok, thank you. Acá está la fecha. Vamos a irnos a la fecha de arriba. Estamos en septiembre acá. Le damos clic a la fecha hacia arriba. Aparece agosto y colocamos 9 de agosto, que fue el día miércoles. Le damos clic a ese 9 de agosto y automáticamente nos pone la fecha ya del día de inicio. Me avisan, ok, todos. ¿Estamos listos? Okay. Listo. Listo, listo. Dice, ¿en qué fecha finalizó el curso? Este día, 6 de septiembre. Le damos solamente clic ahí rápidamente. Ok, 
Okay. Número 14. ¿Cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? Hay dos opciones. Le damos clic a una de ellas. Y me avisan. Ok, muy bien. En la parte 15, esa parte no es obligatoria. Dice, mencione que otros cursos son de su interés. Usted coloque ahí si le interesa otro curso, como Excel, uh, Microsoft Office. Ok, uno de esos dos. No sé qué más cursos tiene. Y por último, 16, dice comentarios. Y tenemos la opción de poner un otro comentario. Luego de enviar, luego de enviar, escúcheme, luego de enviar, les aparecerá un cuadro que dice gracias por uh, completar, creo que así dice, gracias por completar, les vamos a tomar captura o una foto del teléfono, así es para la computadora, o una captura del teléfono para poder enviar esa captura al grupo de WhatsApp. Esa captura será enviada como con su nombre incluido, no separado el nombre. Por ejemplo, yo tomo la imagen acá, pero vamos a tener aquí una imagen oscura. Y pondremos abajo el nombre de un solo, o vamos a incluir el nombre en la imagen. No me refiero dentro de la imagen, sino en, en la parte de dice mensaje. Listo, Ticho. Así, miren, como lo envío yo. Así como lo envío Brian, exactamente. Gracias, Brian. Así, exactamente así. O como lo envío yo. Envía la imagen junto con su nombre abajo. Así para evitar que, bueno, para no perdernos de quién es la, la captura que han mandado. ¿Alguien falta? ¿Alguien falta que, que, que termine con alguna parte? Diana, ¿todo bien? ¿Qué pasó con Denise? No la veo. Creo que se, se fue ella, no sé. Bueno, también la hace después. Todo listo, dice Brian. Gracias, Brian. Tiene un segundo. Conseguiré algo de agua. All right, I'm back. Why? ¿Por qué no hace captura? ¿Por qué no, Verónica? Vamos a checar quién las ha enviado. La ha enviado, vamos a ver. Thank you, Brian. I got it, I got it, Christian. I got Sandra's. I got Sara's. I got Carlos's. Mayra's. Raquel's, Marvin's, Jorge, Jorge, your name is not there. Andy Ernesto, thank you. Ismael, thank you. Ana, thank you. Edwin, thank you. Jorge, una vez más, sin su nombre, le envió. <laughs> What happened, Jorge? Ya pudo irse, ok. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Vamos a ver quién me lo ha enviado acá. Vamos a ver, tenemos a... 
Uy, ¿qué hizo? Estaba a punto de cerrar algo, dice. Ya puedo decir que no puede ir a vivir otra vez. <ríe> Sandra, qué mala Sandra. Ok, hemos recibido ahí. Usted con... también, Ticha. Gracias, Jorge, Diana, Hola, gracias, Pepe. Yancy, gracias. Verónica, gracias. ¿Quién hace falta? Maya, sí, Jorge, thank you. Ajá, Ismael, Ismael, gracias a todos. Cristian, Ed, Edwin, sí, verdad, la vi con Andy, sí. Okay, estamos bien entonces. Hemos concluido. Thank you guys for your patience. Gracias por su paciencia. Mira porque le ponen ahí directo al estado de. de, de, de Estamos todos, pues entonces no hay problema. Ok, muy bien. Y pues vamos a continuar con el libro entonces. Estábamos en esta parte, la parte de acá. Ya leímos los párrafos. Ahora vamos con la parte de abajo. Dice, bueno, decía arriba, it said over here. And uh, dice, and write policy or procedure in the blanks. Vamos a escribir. Why eh, oh, oh, Spanish? We are going to choose from the items that we have down there, from item number one to number five, we're going to choose if the item is a policy or if the item is a procedure. All right, people, let's go. Vamos a iniciar. I'm going to give you three minutes. Lean el, el item y luego colocan a la par en el espacio en blanco si es una política o si es un proceso. Let me know if you have questions.
Sorry, are you ready with the policies and procedures? Let's begin. Yes, it is. Okay, vamos a ver. Let me choose a person. Carlos Eliezer, read number one. Carlos, are you there? Ah, lo escuchamos, Carlos. Lo escuchamos. Sorry. I think your microphone is not, is not working right now. Well, we're sorry. Andy, número, número uno. Yes, teacher. Um, it's, it's a connection between a company's vision. It's a... It's a Uh, you say pro procedure or pro policy? Yes, procedure or policy, one of them. He is policy. Okay, policy. ¿Qué dice Carlos? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué dice Carlos? Creo que me meto. Okay, Carlos, thank you, thank you. Try to do that. Maybe, maybe it's, it's the, that is the problem. Okay, policy, dijo Andy. People, do you agree with Andy? Yes, I yes, agree. Teacher. Yes, yes exactly. Okay, thank you, Andy, for reading number one. Let's continue with the second one. Let me shoot another person. Diana, read number two. Thank you, Diana. Okay, teacher. Is the permitting managers to control events event is a policy? Okay, it permits managers to control events in advance. It is, ¿qué dijo? Repítalo. It's a policy. It's a policy. People, do you agree with Diana? No, teacher. No, you don't agree? It's, no, no agree. It's procedure. It's procedure. Okay, it's a procedure. All right, thank you for letting me know. It's okay, yeah, don't worry. Procedure. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Number three. Let me choose another person for number three. Marvin, can you do it? Three. Thank you, Marvin. Okay. It can be compared to a trip map. I think it's procedure. Okay. It can be. Is it? It can be compared to a trip map, and as like Marvin said, procedure. People, do you agree with him? Yes, you should. Okay, yes, we Martin. agree. We agree with Marvin, right? Yes, it's a procedure. Thank you. All right. Number four. Let me see. Raquel, can you read number four? I can be compared to a school where you find many things. Policies. Okay, it can be it can be compared to a globe where you can find many things. It's a policy. People, do you agree with Raquel? Yes, yes I agree. Yes, um, I agree. All right, policy. And the last one, let me choose another person. Jorge, can you do it? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Jorge. When people write teach well, there are not misunderstanding. Okay. When people write this write this well, there are not misunderstandings. What is it, Jorge? For me, a uh, prosa procedure. Pro, procedure. 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 People, do you agree with Jorge? Yes, I agree. Yes, okay, I think we all agree. Ahí está, ahí está. It's a connection between a company's vision policy. It permits managers to control events in advance procedure. It can be compared to a trip map procedure. It can be compared to a globe where you can find where you find many things. Policy and when people write this well. There are not misunderstandings. Thank you all for your practice. Let's continue with the practice. 
And we're going to go to part number two. Well, number one. This is the grammar practice. Unit number four, grammar practice. This is give extra grammar practice. Filling the space in each sentence using either could I or could you. People, vamos a usar en el espacio, vamos a llenar las, las, las preguntas, son preguntas, con este could I or could you. All right. I am going to give you five minutes. Les daré cinco minutos para poder hacer esta actividad. Yes. People, let's go. Iniciemos. If you have any questions about the vocabulary, let me know. I am here to answer any of your questions. Okay, people, let's go. Uh, I'm sorry, Carlos. You have issues with the, with the with the audio. It sometimes quizás no no actualizado Zoom. Puede que sea eso. Sometimes uh, when you don't update Zoom, it gives you audio problems or video problems.
guys, are you ready? Yes, you should. Yes. Who is not ready? ¿Quién no está listo? ¿Todos estamos listos? Yes, teacher. Yes. I can hear you people, no se escucha. Can't hear you. Okay, let's begin sharing. Number one. Sara, read number one. Could you, could you close your window, please? It's very cool in here. Okay, let me see. Could. Could you close your window, please? It's very cold in here. People, do you think, well, do you think it is correct? Amazing you. Hey, sorry, sorry, people. Yes. Now, do you think it is correct? You're, you're hungry. Yes, teacher. Yes, all right, all right. So, Sandra, hello. <laughs> Could you open the door for me, please? I am carrying all these books. Okay, I am carrying all these books. So it would I am be... carrying. Yes. Could you, right? Yes. Could you open the door for me, please? I am carrying all these books. Yes. Excellent. Thank you for. Let me choose another person. Raquel, can you read number three? I did understand what you say to me. Could you repeat? Okay, I did I didn't understand what you said to me. <coughs> could you exactly thank you? Could you repeat it please? Yes, could you repeat it please? Thank you for reading uh Raquel. Veronica, go with number four. Mm, excuse me. Your music is uh, very low. Uh call call you turn turning down a little okay could you turn it down a little excuse me your music on your music is on very your music on sorry okay your music is on very loud could you turn it down a little could you okay we got it thank you could you exactly number five let me choose another person. Me? Okay, Brian, go ahead. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, teacher. Uh, Mary, I don't get uh, I don't get my money uh, till next week. Could you lend me 20 till then? Okay, okay. Mary, I don't get my money till next week. Could you lend me $20 till then? Okay, Brian got it. Brian got it. Let me write it down. Wait a minute. Could you? Yes. Could you? Thank you, Brian. Mayra, read number six. Okay, teacher. Uh, please, you borrow the car until tomorrow as night is being required. Repeat it, please. Could you repeat it, please? <laughs> please, help me borrow your car until tomorrow as my is to be repaired. Okay, dijo could you, verdad? Yes. People, do you agree with Mayra? No, teacher. No, we don't agree with her. 
how do you make this smaller okay or work it there you go in this case this is could i could i borrow your car until tomorrow as mine is being repaired or k uh borrow thank you borrow no. No. Why? No saben qué es borrow? Prestar no. dinero. I don't know. Sí, es prestar, pero falta, falta algo más ahí. Pedir prestado. Ajá, exactamente. La palabra es pedir y prestado. Podría. Podría yo pedir y prestado. Si yo digo, could you, could you borrow, podrías tú, podrías tú pedir prestado. No, es al, al revés. Este caso sería que, could I, could I borrow, podría, podría pedir prestado tu carro. Yes. Entonces, borrow significa pedir prestado, no prestado. Prestar es lend. Acá está lend, arriba. Borrow, son, son similares, pero son sinónimos, pero abajo borrow es pedir prestado. Entonces no sería como me prestas tu carro, sino que podría pedir prestado. Exactamente, exactamente, así es, Ajá. así es, así es. Teacher. Yes, Marvin. Uh, I have a question. I'm Dígame. not sure, but other, with other teacher, uh, I understand. Borrow is when I have, eh, when I have, the, cuando tengo lo, lo que, lo que le estoy, cuando tengo lo que ya le estoy pidiendo. Por ejemplo, Borrow me the, el borrador the raise, pero cuando yo ya lo tengo en la mano. Y hay otro que cuando, cuando no lo tengo como en mi mano o en mi posición, como que si le pido pre, prestado, pero de otra manera. Eso entendía yo con borrow o no. No, no, no. Ese, ese es lend. Para hacerlo más, más directo y más fácil, usamos lend. Por ejemplo, hey Marvin, can you lend me? Lend me, préstame. Puedes prestarme o podrías prestarme. Can you lend me your car? Más fácil. Pero este borrow ya no es prestar, es pedir prestado. Es al revés. Si usted ve arriba, dice, could you lend me? Y abajo dice, could I, lend, could I borrow you? Es lo mismo, pero al revés. Al revés. Ese borrow, no se puede decir borrow me. Porque ese es pedir, pedirme prestado. No, 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 no. no. Por eso, sí. Si lo podemos decir, mire, yo voy a poner así una forma diferente. Could, uh... Mira, ahí está. Could, could I borrow your pencil? Pongamos esta. Could you borrow me your pencil? ¿Cuál es la diferencia en estos dos ejemplos? Tenemos, could I borrow your pencil? And could you borrow me your pencil? En la segunda, en la segunda oración dice, could you borrow me your pencil? Es como decirle, ¿podría, podrías tú... Pedirme a mí que te preste mi, la, mi lápiz. Mi lápiz. Es, es al revés. Es al revés. Entonces no, no es así como, le, como, como se dice. Es, es así como está acá. Could I, could I borrow your... Could I, could I borrow you five dollars? Podría, uh, podría, podría pedirte prestado cinco dólares. Could I borrow your cell phone? Could I borrow your cell phone? Eso es could I. Si usted dice could you borrow me? No, no está correcto eso. Tal vez sí, pero está todo al revés la oración, ¿no? Tiene mucho sentido. Yes. Okay. Gracias. Pues en este caso, lend es mucho más fácil. Lend es mucho más fácil. Yes. Yes. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a, a, a picture later on para que podamos compararlo los dos. dos. Buscar ahí en, en Google, lo voy a buscar para que veamos, para que vean, no hay problema. Yes. Ok, very good. Now, Thank you for your participation in part number one. Part number two, dice ahí, fill in, the, fill in the space in each sentence using either should or shouldn't. Should or should not. Leemos de la uno a la siete, colocamos ahí should or should not. You have to understand the context or you have to understand the sentence in order for you to, to put or to choose either should or should not. People, I'm going to give you from four to five minutes. 
four to five minutes. Pues mientras hacen eso, buscaré esa imagen que les, 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 les dije. Four. Let me share the a stamps. Uh, teacher, thank you, Edwin. Uh, I have a question for the lyrics for the number seven. And uh, yes. uh, you take some words calls. Uh, what is the mean uh, of work calls or personal calls? Because it's a personal calls is you shouldn't, right? 
but is a call of work. No es lo mismo. You es should. Lo mismo. Uh -huh. O sea, si digamos que se, se refiere a preguntas de, o sea, de contestar llamadas de trabajo, sería no, de, de sí. Pero si son llamadas personales, se entendería que no, ¿verdad? Pero no, no especifica. Bueno, in this case, in this case it's someone else, it's like, de alguien más. Mm. Yes. That's why it says someone else's calls. Las llamadas de alguien más. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Guys, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Can you see, Brian, ring number one. Okay, the chair, uh, number one. You should call your boss if you are coming late to work. Okay, you should call your you boss should. if you are coming late to work. Yes, you should call your boss if you're coming late to work. Thank you, Brian. Yes, excellent. Ismael, read the next one. You shouldn't spend too much time on internet. Repeat it. You should not spend too much time on internet. All right, all right. We got it, you got it. You shouldn't, you shouldn't spend too much time on the internet. Thank you for answering. Marvin, read number three. Number three, okay. Yes. You should work over time if there is too much to do at the workplace. Okay, you should, you should. You know, you should or you shouldn't. I should. Okay, you should work over time if there is, a, there is too much work to do at the workplace. Thank you, excellent, you got it, you got it, Marvin. Let me go with Sara, Sara, read number four. You shouldn't make mm -hmm. use of narcotic, narcotics. Narcotics, In, narcotics. Na, narco, narcotics. Nar, narcotics. In any facility of your workplace. Okay. You should you shouldn't make use of narcotics in a, in any facility of your workplace. We got shouldn't, right? Or should not. Separemos acá. Should not. Yes, thank you. You got it. You got it. Edwin, can you read number five? And you shouldn't gear casual clothes when there is a Provision in your company. Okay, you shouldn't wear casual clothes when there is a supervision in your company. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Uh, let me see, Veronica, read the next one. Okay. Um, you should re report computer problems 
I do take support in the department. Yes, you should. You yes. should report computer problems at the tech support department. Denise, are you there? Yes. I'm Can you here. read the last one? Yes. You shouldn't take someone else's calls. Okay, you shouldn't take someone else's calls. You got it, thank you. Okay, those are the answers. We got them correct. Thank you guys for your participation right there. Let me make this a smaller. Let me go and show you the information. Dime un, un segundo. Voy a mostrar acá lo, lo del barro con este land. ¿Lo pueden ver? Yes, yes. Okay, acá está borrow, verb to take, tomar. Ese take is to take or accept, accept something for a short time with the intention of return, returning it to the owner. Es básicamente lo mismo que lend, lo, me, lo mismo que lend. Yes. Lend is a, to give something for a short time with the intention of getting it back. Yes. Aunque ese borrow es como pedirlo y ya leen es como prestarlo, okay, darlo. Pero miren los ejemplos, son los mismos ejemplos. Dice, could I borrow a pen? Podría pedir prestado un, un lapicero. Y abajo dice, could you please, could you please let me, could you please let me a pen? ¿Podría, por favor, prestarme un lapicero? ¿Podría, prestar, ¿Podría pedir prestado un lapicero? ¿Podría prestarme un lapicero? Es básicamente lo mismo. Yes. La diferencia es la gramática, que va al revés. El word order is different. Aquí no sería, can I, buy, can I aquí, could you please lend me, sería acá. Con el, could, con el lend, sí sería, could you. Ya con el... Borrow sería, may I borrow, can I borrow, or could I borrow? That's the difference. That's la diferencia. La gramática. Yes. Teacher, o sea, como, um, no sé, en pocas palabras sería que con borrow siempre va a ser I. O sea, no va a ser you, could you, sino que could I. Depende del contexto. Yo. Depende del contexto. Porque yo le puedo decir a usted, a usted uh, you could borrow, you could borrow a pen, you could borrow a pen. Usted podría pedir prestado uh, un, un lapicero. Así es, alguien más. Pero, pero, pero si, si yo es para, si es para usted, si es para usted, sería, can I, can I borrow, could I borrow, or may I borrow, si es para usted. Uh -huh. okay. Si es para alguien más, ya cambia el contexto. Uh -huh. All right, we have 10 minutes to complete the last activity. The last activity is easy, it's as fast as Join the clauses uh, using if or when, use the correct punctuation. Dice, une la, una, la oración, la, las cláusulas usando if or when, usa la correcta puntuación, dice. Iniciamos. Let me give you three minutes to do this. Three minutes, people. Go, iniciamos. One minute per each. One minute for each.
Spanish teacher. Excellent, excellent. All right, we're gonna share right now. Number one, ¿Quién la puede compartir? Número uno. Dice, get, get late to work, call my boss. Get Easy. late to work, call my boss. Go. When get, get late to work, call my boss. Repeat it. When get late to work, call my boss. Okay, when I... Get late, sería. When I get, I get late to work, comma, I call my boss. Espera, me lo escribo mejor. When I get, excuse me, get late to work, comma, I call my boss. O puede ser al revés. Como si tipleca, espérame. I... Excuse me, excuse me. Because when I get late to work. All right. Number two. ¿Quién puede leer la segunda? Yes, it's sure. If I need oh, no. a day off, if I need, if I need a day off, request it with the human resource. Okay, when do you have that? Vamos a ver. When no, you if... need a day off, comma, you, sorry, you, Requested with HR. HR means human resources. O podría ser, alguien lo puede decir al revés. O también, teacher, if I need a day off. Repeat it again. If I need. Yes, 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 exactly. When I need a day off, I request it with HR. Excellent. La última. ¿Quién la puede? Dice, there, there is too much work to do. Work extra hours. When there is too much work to do, Huh? Work extra hour. Okay, let me write it down. When there yes. is too much work to do, I work extra hours. Okay, ¿cómo sería al revés?
if I work extra hour, there is uh -huh. no. If I work extra hour. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. There is too much work to do. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I work extra hours when there is or if there is too much work to do. All right. Let me see. We got it. Thank you, people. Very good. We got it right there. It's kind of really bad. That's why I was turning the camera off. Okay, we have finished the class or the session. Today's session, well, it, it is the last session, so we got it. We got it, we got it, hold on. I'm closing the windows here. Okay, people, thank you very much for your participation today. And uh, well, there is a reason to celebrate, people. Look, todos, todos, let's go, let's go. Celebremos, observen. Yes, we have finished today's, uh, well, we have finished the module. Hemos concluido el módulo. Hemos concluido el módulo este día. Gracias a todos. Excelente. Bien, celebramos, celebramos. <ríe> muy bien, muy bien. Perfectísimo. All right. Yes, yes, we got it, we got it. <ríe> we got it, people. Excellent. All right. Very good, very good. Okay, bueno, agradecerles a todos por estos 20, 20 días o 20 sesiones que hemos tenido. Bueno, un mes prácticamente, observen un mes. Porque iniciamos el 6 de agosto hasta el 6 de septiembre, un mes. Prácticamente sería un mes. Y con algunos de ustedes, pues, solo ha sido un módulo, con otros, fue pues, ya con este serían dos módulos que estoy, que estoy con ustedes, con algunos. Acá estuvimos con uh, nuevos, serían, nuevos, digamos, nuevos. Estábamos con Verónica, Marvin, uh, Ra, no, no, este Edwin y quién más, la otra persona que estaba, Paola, que se agregaron al, al grupo que ya estaba. Los demás sí estábamos aquí en modo anterior y pues hemos hecho un trabajo muy bueno, gracias a todos por siempre participar. Déjenme decirles que lo hicieron muy bien, he quedado satisfecho, quedó, quedó bien porque han hecho un buen trabajo y considero que ha mejorado bastante bueno, pues ya saben muy, ya maneja muy bien el idioma uh, solo falta, falta hacer unas pequeñas mejoras y seguir avanzando poco a poco yes eso sería todo do you have any comments? algún comentario? alguna queja? <laughs> thank you teacher for your passions <laughs> por la paciencia <laughs> you're welcome ha sido un yes. placer thank you teacher Thank you for your passion. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Yes, 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 teacher. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. a very funny teacher. Sorry. Uh, you're, uh, you're very funny teacher. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sometimes, okay. a veces. <laughs> a veces sometimes, but... <laughs> All right. Recuerden, uh, recuerden que hay que trabajar en la plataforma este día, concluir todas las actividades, todas, 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 que estén al 100 o por lo menos que estén a los 80, por lo menos a los 80. Si están abajo de 80, no, no cuenta. Porque el requisito es que estén al mínimo 80%. ¿Cómo puedo saber si están al 80? Porque algunas no me salieron, no sé por qué. Repítalas. <risa> es que yo las voy a repetir y repetir y no sé por qué. O sea, pero es donde uno escribe ahí es. Eh. ¿Dónde tengo problemas? Hacer, hacer algún punto, algún uh, espacio extra, alguna minúscula. Así una es, letra puede ser. Esa a low web, a low web. Esa no me salió ni una buena. 
Repítalo, repítalo. Repórtalo ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp. Aquí estamos en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí vamos a dar ahorita en este momento. Okay. Ahí está disponible, sí. Así que bueno, gracias a todos. Nos vemos. Este, si gustan, guarden mi WhatsApp. Cualquier pregunta de inglés que tengan, duda alguna pregunta que tengan, duden en escribirme. Yo les respondo sin ningún problema. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Justamente mañana, cuando vaya okay. a mañana, teacher, Gracias, mañana teacher. voy a ir a mi primer interview y le voy a llamar y aquí voy a andar yo el audífono para que me vaya diciendo todo. Ya quedo. Perfectísimo. Perfectísimo. Y si quedo, y si quedo, le invito a un combo del Wendy's. Vaya, excelente, ya lo hicimos. Mire. Excelente. A todos, a todos. Bueno, La verdad, sea todos, todos, claro, que todos claro. sí. Imposible. Así. Es imposible, dice el <risa> Ok, bueno, entonces se cuidan, Una un placer, ha sido un placer, un gran placer, se cuidan. Thank you, easy, pues, Sandra, thank you, easy. Good night, I need to. Good night, everyone, descansen, pásenla bien, disfruten los días. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, good night.